This is Junkyard Revival. Uh, the cleaning ability of vinyl leather is unmatched. It has brought this seat back. Night and day difference. This is Junkyard Revival. Yeah, this is the van that we did Super Citrus on underneath the hood. It's funny, like the more we come out here, we go walking around these areas and uh, you start seeing like half vehicles cleaned and half under hoods cleaned. And uh, this hood right here still looks crazy because that was where we put Super Citrus underneath. You got him. What's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? No, man, you're good. I got an answer. Cool, cool. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Hey, good talking to you, man. All right, buddy, later. See what we can find. Cool. Ow, I stepped on something sharp. Here's somebody, a Jeep. There's somebody out there in the Jeep community that would put this on Marketplace and be like, don't want to get rid of it, but five grand. It's a project. You'll probably see this coming out on Marketplace soon. It's a project, but it's a keeper, it's five grand. So as we were setting up home base here, we seen this truck had some really, really bad headrests and the one on the passenger side is just day to day, a headrest area is, gets oil and grease from your hair, uh, just becomes super dirty, it looks like whoever, it was, uh, has never been cleaned. So we're gonna go in here with vinyl and leather cleaner and see what it does. Abby's gonna go around that side because it's super grown up over here. I'm gonna try to get in here. stuff in there so as you can see that headrest is rough and I'm gonna put a little tape line on here and we'll see what kind of action we can get here with vinyl and leather cleaner this may be super stained and beyond repair but this is a great area for vinyl and leather cleaner to You can see that's working. I mean, it's taking stuff out of there for sure. I don't know if it's gonna take it all out, but. These are like prime areas for vinyl and leather cleaner. These high traffic armrests, door panels. In this case scenario, headrest. Wow, yeah, I mean. I can't really see over on your side too well, but um, this is night and day on that. With vinyl and leather cleaner and that brush, it's a little yellow brush, man. We use it so many times out here, but it's my favorite brush. It works great on these perfect area. I mean, you see how much of a difference from here to here with that little application. Uh, the cleaning ability of vinyl leather is unmatched. So if you have vinyl or leather in your car, truck, van, SUV, anything, you need to have, this is a product that is a must have. Also the hidden secrets we've shown, it works on white walls, has so many different uses. Vinyl leather cleaner, get you some. And to top it off, this truck looks like it needs a little better smell to it. 
These are our most popular air fresheners. And we have them online. And we're gonna leave one as a symbol that this truck's been jack waxed. So while we were here uh, doing liquid carnauba, which has brought this paint and makes it look really, really good, we noticed this would be a good opportunity to try vinyl and leather. This is a uh, vinyl, obviously it's busted and cracked. We're gonna see uh, how well vinyl and leather cleaner can clean this up. Obviously we're gonna put our infamous tape line down so we can get a before and after. And we're gonna go to town on this side and see if we can clean it up with the uh, vinyl and leather cleaner. Let me grab it. We're going to use vinyl and leather because, man, this is our most aggressive. This has been sitting out. Most time cars are not taking this much damage. This has been out in the elements. So this is our most aggressive cleaner, and we've seen what it will do in some of these other ones. We will take this leather brush, which is my favorite. Uh, it's a little coarse here. Man, it does great cleaning ability. There's going to be some areas it won't get down in like that, but we will use uh, a towel for that. So I'm going to apply it and uh, go to work. The good thing about this brush is, man, it just doesn't take a lot of pressure. You can uh, really let it do the most of the work for you. It's just aggressive enough, but won't hurt your seats either. I can tell it's removing a bunch of that stuff. Now down in there, I'm gonna have to get the towel due to it being such a rough little area. So because that was such a bad seat, I'm gonna hit it again. There's still some little spots in here. I think those are probably in there for good, but because it was so contaminated, I'm gonna hit it again. Let it sit for a minute, let it do its thing. Hit it with the brush and see what our results are. So if you're looking for a really, really aggressive cleaner, you can tell this seat, I don't know that you could get one that's worse, and you could, but your seat's not gonna be sitting out in the elements like this one. The difference, I mean, vinyl leather brought this part. This has been some pitting and stuff going on here, but it has brought this seat back um, night and day difference. So as we walk through the junkyard, we'll continue to show some other spots where vinyl leather is a go-to.